Honey, look what just got delivered. What is it? You'll be excited. Oh, wow. This looks nice. 125 feet per second. Now the kids are gonna fear me. Let's check it out. Here's everything that comes inside the box. You have your adjustable stock that slips right in. And you can adjust and it's actually pretty firm. But you have five different settings to pick from, depending on how long your arms are. Your front sight is adjustable, either forward or backwards. Then you can install your rear sight. It actually clicks right in and you can hear it click. And you can adjust it up to help you aim. You got your muzzle brake, which just holds in based on tension. Doesn't really do anything for accuracy, but it makes the gun look cooler. And then you have your long clip for your long ammo. We'll get these loaded up and then we'll show you guys a demonstration. It really doesn't hold the ammo in there very tight. Kind of loose. You can see that. And then you have for the shorty bullet. This one, hold, this one holds in a little more snug. And then you'd have to use the adapter in order to hold it in place. clicks in and then you just slide it into the gun. We'll get everything loaded up and then we'll try it out. We got about eight bullets in so far. So there's tension down on the spring, but the bullets actually just pop right out of the magazine. Oh, there you go. Maybe it'll hold now. Now that we got everything put together, you have a safe and a fire button, which is labeled S and F. With the save button in, you're not able to pull the trigger. When you push the fire, you're able to. We're gonna slip the clip into the gun. And we're gonna prime it, which it actually has a pretty strong primer pull compared to the Nerf guns that our kids have. And then you slide it forward and make sure that it clicks all the way in the forward position. And let's see how much power it has. We have a couple of empty bottles, a couple of full bottles, and we'll see how much power we have from about 10 feet away. <gasps> Be careful! Good job! Oy. Okay, now we're reloaded, and she thinks she can shoot better than me. Almost. Got that one. Doesn't knock over the full bottles of water. Okay, let's see if there's any difference in accuracy and power with the short bullets. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Good job! Definitely an increase in accuracy with the shorter bullets. It doesn't seem like they have more power, but we definitely hit every single one on the first shot.
right, now we're going to shoot the long bullets and see if we can see a difference. between the long bullets actually veer in the air when the short bullets actually shoot a lot straighter. Uh, the short bullets, it looks like I got three in the center bullseye. The long bullets, I was aiming for the center bullseye but I made three in the other ones and I can see them going about everywhere else and I think I only got one in the center bullseye. You can definitely see the difference in flying straightness. My first victim, join me. It doesn't hurt that bad. Ah, you guys. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> ah, yeah. Dad. I'm gonna make sure that you find it back. You slide this in all the way so you hear the click, and then prime forward. After using the gun, we really never had any jams, but we did realize that we have to make sure that the magazine is pushed up all the way. And as you can notice on the small one, it needs to click in order to be all the way up. And usually you have to have it cocked back in order to load your next magazine and then load the bullet into the chamber. Other than that, we would definitely recommend it. For $60, you can definitely notice the power and the spring tension compared to the majority of the Nerf guns on the market. 